Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm just letting you know that we've released our first update for the Stealth AI Starter Pack, which is an asset pack which I've released on the Unreal Engine Marketplace as a part of my game studio, Copper Gaming, and I'll leave a link to that in the description down below. So, just a quick overview of some of the updates that we've done. So now you can use this asset on Unreal Engine 5.4 as well. So now it is available on all versions of Unreal Engine 5. I've also fixed a typo that you may have noticed on the castle as well, as you can see here. Stealth was spelt wrong, so that is now fixed. I've also modified it so that if you select an AI, you scroll down under default, you can modify the chase speed and walk speed in here now, so you can immediately change how quickly the AI, the AI moves about with having to go through all of the code. What I've also done is I've fixed a bug in which with the patrol paths, if you only had two patrol points, it would go to the first one and not the second. But now you can see if I were to get this in here, let's give it a patrol path of 20 as I know I've not used that one yet. Duplicate this out so we have just two. And then let's hit refresh on this here. We see we have order zero and order one. If I drag in my AI, set it to patrol on the patrol path index of 20, Let's simulate it. We can see that it is now going to work to go between these two different points like so, which wouldn't have worked in the previous versions. But thanks to you guys spotting bugs like these, that has now been fixed. Another bug which was spotted by you, which we have now also fixed as well, is that the AI wouldn't investigate the location of the last heard noise if it was already investigating a noise. So let me huh? see if I can oh, show hey. you this here but it might not hey. be able to as I've got quite a lot here. So let's just spawn in over here. Huh? Let's huh? whistle. They're gonna start huh? investigating, huh? but if I were to whistle again, huh? this will now be the place where they start to investigate. They, As you can see, he's coming downstairs. The person who was over there is now coming around the corner as well. So they will now investigate the latest heard noise. And the final bug fix, which we have done on this update, is we've also fixed a bug where the patrol AI wouldn't work after restarting the engine unless you refresh the patrol component. So essentially, if you created a patrol path and everything, as you can see here, I've got absolutely loads just for the purpose of showing it off. Once you close the engine and open it back up, you would have to press refresh on the patrol component here in order for it to work. Now, this did only affect Unreal Engine 5.2 and 5.3. However, it is now fixed as well. So it doesn't happen in those versions and that same fix is also on all engine versions now as well to ensure that it doesn't happen in the future as well. And again, those bugs and some of the other things which we've changed are all thanks to you guys, the community, using it in your own games and finding out what works best for you and what bugs you've also encountered. So keep doing the same thing as well. If you have any future ideas of what you want us to do, let us know in our Discord server and I'll be happy to look into implementing them. And also if you need any help I'm happy to help as well because even these bugs that we've got here although they were bugs the people that told me I still managed to help them have a workaround until I did manage to push this update which we've now got here and again future updates will keep on coming out for this asset pack as well as more asset packs in the future as well so as I said earlier join our discord server in the link down below so you can keep updated with future updates on this and different things we're working on and you can also get help if needs be also check out the actual Stealth AI starter pack in the description down below as well if you haven't got it already. And thank you so much for watching this video, just wanted to give a quick overview of the latest update and to let you know that any bugs you may have encountered are now fixed. So again, thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.